Structures clearly designed for defensive purposes can be found all over the British Isles. Although in Britain we have found few Iron Age burials for some reason, and therefore so much less elaborate metalwork has survived, we do have some quite magnificent objects, which we can see in the British Museum. Although some, especially the fire docks from the first century BC found at Wellin in Hearts, belong to what is called the Hallstatt culture, others are decorated in a later style, which has come to be called La Ten, after an enormous collection of 2nd century BC objects which was found in the 19th century on the bed of the river Thiel near a place called La Ten in Switzerland. The bronze fittings from what was a wooden bucket was found at Aylesford in Kent. A Roman fort known as the Lunt has been reconstructed on its actual site, not far from Coventry. Such forts were built to a standard pattern by specialist military engineers, and such gatehouses would have become familiar sites to the conquered native population. Behind the high walls were barrack blocks, storerooms, cookhouses and orderly rooms. The Lunt appears to have been designed to accommodate cavalry units, and there is an unusual compound, presumably for the breaking and training of horses. Close to the medieval castle at Carlisle is the site of an important fort which spans several periods of the Roman occupation. The movement back and forth between the two lines Life on the wall has often been depicted as a lonely, windswept exile for soldiers from the south. But many of them may have been recruited locally, probably sons of soldiers themselves. To begin with, Roman soldiers were not allowed to marry before the end of their 25 years of service. But there must have been many unofficial wives and children living outside the walls of the fort in straggling villages. <laughs> 